game plan. They want to execute. So here's what's interesting. Uh, I think it was uh, slot three or slot four mm -hmm. that Evo's locked in the carry. But still, Cygnus uh, tried to push uh, the Akai. So they seem to not care about uh, the... Uh, potential for carry to counter tanks they just really need huh. to execute here uh with uh, their cc I was, uh, uh, with, with the akai in the middle bar. yeah i was actually thinking about them Five instead seconds. of a Enemy an akai um probably a baleri might be better because of the reflect Almost damage deployed. so what yeah, do you think nature shield nature shield could counter the carry but no uh, it's too late we are going into game one between uh evos lynx and cygnus hope you guys are enjoying the match and this is FSL Philippines. Uh, I think Yashin is going in quick as we watch uh, mid between uh, the Akai, uh, the Lunox, and uh, as he protects uh, Dexy. Dexy is on the Harith. Yeah. This, is this, is, this will look good, especially if the, we see the Harith carries the game. Well, anyway, we can see in here Diggy providing vision for the rest of the members of EVOS. And, you know, just telling them that, hey, the buff's still there, but apparently we see no contest or invade coming out from the red side. Yep, it's, it's going to be one of those games where they try to play it safe. And I think it is going to be uh, to their advantage. Evos will want to try to uh, protect that carry and farm her up just a little bit. But do, don't get me wrong, they are going to try to get as many kills as they can if the uh, opportunity arises. As we see down here in Fought, they engage with the Minotaur and uh, the uh, Harley, but they're not going to be getting any kills. Not so soon, not just yet. Yes, and Dexy together with Ali going for the cur uh, cut of Crip Wave in the bottom lane part of the map right after Leomard takes away the neutral monster wave from the jungle of Team Cygnus. So yeah, here we see now that uh, Evos is getting a little uh, more, uh, how do we say, bold. They're going into the jungle of their opponent, they're taking what camps they can. Yes, indeed. And so far, no casualties yet at this two-minute game time, but the turtle is going to go off within two seconds. And it seems like that is what Cygnus is taking a look at right now. They're basically trying to contest that area and it, a while ago, but now very patiently waiting is the Leomer in the bottom lane, making sure not, um, she's not going to tell uh, her opponents that, hey, I'm here in the bottom lane part of the map, free to gank. But now, this okay. is a patience test. Here we go. Four members from each team are now uh, looking at Turtle with, with an interesting look in their eyes. They want to take Turtle, but they are just instead going to reset it to make sure that neither is going to get a clean take. Yeah, and everyone's just patient for this team fight so far. No kills at almost 3 minute game time. Um, even though we can see here a lot of players or heroes already at level 4. Um, let's see. Creation of space together with the Kufra in here on the bottom part of the map. Then let's see if they will actually take opportunity on that turtle right now. They're still resetting it, just basically resetting it right now and not going for it. Yeah, it looks like they can't. I mean, if it's just gonna be the Diggy and the Kufra jabbing a turtle, that's not enough damage at all. Yeah. So now we see members of, uh, I'm sorry, this is Cygnus. Yeah, members of Cygnus taken down turtle pretty quickly but then they jump in right now middle one furious three people getting caught zam also getting first committed blood. here first blood drawn by dexy down, down goes a diamond and they are not going to stop uh barbiel has already been called in but the yella and sinik gang are going to be able to save themselves pretty sure the fans of dexy are cheering over our live stream right now and you know, that was the first blood, and of course, if you get the first blood, that is an opportunity. I mean, you you get a lot of gold from that uh, kill, right? Mm -hmm. Compared Ooh, to just... Oh! The turret. Yeah, they, they are going to be turning this into a turret take. They they need to, because that kill, uh, actually, they, they tried to turn that into several kills to make more space, but uh, they'll make use of what they can here. And uh, yeah, I've been seeing that recently. A lot of uh, players, especially in the MPL, use the Zaman Force now as a spacing tool as well. I like to Nice. And looks like this is going to be a free crab for the red team. Team Evos once more as they rotate here on the top lane. Sam might be in a bad position if he shows himself and he actually showed 
himself there. And there you go. Looks like we have a fight ongoing in here. In the jungle area of the blue team, Shang, so low at the moment. He's going to go down. And there you go. Chess got trying to back away from that. Thams, but Thams looks like he's getting caught up, getting slowed down. Kufra is there to do the crash control. Everyone's just spamming their skills to get the kill. But now, with that, they're getting a third take onto the top lane. It will fall down. You know what? I can't help but feel like Kufra is a little broken. You know, Kufra's <laughs> bouncing ball is like his second skill. It's, it's, it's part of his kit. It's not even his old. But it's, it's almost as strong as a hurricane. Mm -hmm. right? Retreat! Yeah, there's just so much crowd control from that. You can't even move. Like it can't. It, like for example, you can use it to counter the the fanny as well. It's not just now saber against the the fanny. But well, anyway, we don't see any funny right now. But you know, Kufra. I'm just saying that Kufra is just also a good hero that can provide good crowd control. Ali's doing so well protecting Dexy and making sure that Dexy on that Harith is uh, going to be able to, to ramp up oh. and take essentially mid game uh, or not even mid game. They are mid -game engaging mid -game. in a fight right now as we can see in here Sham going so low will she be the other casualty apparently she's safe but on the bottom lane Cheska's lone and defending that turret Tier 1 turret in the bottom lane part of the map of EVOS Lynx. And they have to be very careful. This is a well-fed Dexy on the Harith. At the same time, Ali on the Kufra. And add to that, a very good support, Digi as well. So, Thams, looks like you're in a bad position once more. Launch attack. I was saying it's a good idea that they actually just push away the yes. members of... Cygnus here, they're taking this kill. That's when Zaman came off of Kukdan because Dexy used the Zaman force to take the turtle. So I think it was just good timing. They knew what they had to do. Good rotation right there. Anax fighting the dust and they are going to be taking this turret as well. Ali using Tyrant's Rage. Time Journey being popped. Down goes Shang. Still no deaths on the side. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a lot of damage. There's another Zaman force being dropped. This is crazy. 07 currently at seven minutes. That's a lot of damage for from both the carry as well as the Harith. And you know, even the Minotaur is not able to sustain that much damage, primarily also because you know they're not able to farm out. Um they they um they ha they weren't able to take any turrets away from the red team Evos Lynx yet. They have to do a lot of work. They haven't had enough any kills yet as well. It's just 0-7. That's 8,000 8, gold that they're behind. Cygnus really needs to catch up here. Uh, uh, I think the key is for them to, to, to play defensively. Do Turtle not engage in fights you are not sure you're going to win. And maybe just try to pick off. Uh, oh. The lack of a Kaja on both sides really is turning these uh, defensive plays into things that people are not used to playing. There is the in, problem. going to be... This is going to be the last turtle. Yes, what is going to be the problem? You know, the lineup of Cygnus is is not based on a marksman composition. They do not have any marksmen at all. And we know that, you know, um, based, uh, generally, if, if you have a marksman if, in your lineup, it's, it is easier to push. And it sometimes it is easier to melt down the HP bars of your opponent. And that is actually on the side of the red team right now. Evos, now they're actually engaging on a fight at the moment. Shang going so low. Arnax at the same time. But Kin will fall down from the Sam's plays. But they are not done yet. We can see in here Dexy getting more kills. She is now 604. Double kill for the Minotaur. But Dexy will do the clean up. Looks like she would want to get that um, Harley, but she's just way too far. But this is a good split push being done by Cheska. Oh my goodness. No, Cheska will definitely not die yet from that ultimate from that Harley. But this is a one, another turret take on the top lane part of the map. Cygnus is now penetrated, ladies and gentlemen. Yella doing really good to push away the push away the carry there. Cheska, uh, given that she's the only one surviving of Cygnus, it's the only thing that she could have done. And that uh, if she let Cheska have her way, they would have had like two lanes that they had to protect, and that's a lot of pressure to crush. Cygnus down and uh, you know I'm not sure if they could have recovered from that as easily as they could from this they still have wow. uh, one power out for mid but it's now down so 
Yeah, I think uh, all that uh, Evos is trying to do here is hide some time, keep the pressure on while they wait for more. That was a faster take by the red team. Um, you know, well, it's reasonable why they do, they can do that because they ha they got a DPS hero in here in the form of the carry. And, you know, we can see in here they are using the carry mainly as the pusher and um, um, the Harith as their source of damage uh, in team fights. So I think that is a good decision making by Evos Lynx right now. And looking at the spells that they're using, uh, Retribution is in the hands of the Harith. So it's reasonable why she got just a lot of gold in her pockets right now, 7.7. .7. She has the highest at the moment. Mm -hmm. So now all of this purify is making sense. Given how much uh, CC is on the opponent's yeah. side that is on sickness, even if you pop a time journey, it's possible that the time journey gets overloaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the purify comes in hand? Yes, yes, and it, it's working. It's really working for their side. But let's see in here, the Lord is now on the top lane going to make a push but pressure now is being given by evos in the bottom lane part of the map as well as the middle lane we can see in here dexy trying to clear that wave as fast as possible so they get a good wave a uh, flow of creep wave now as they tr probably try will try to end this match at almost 12 minute game time Mm -hmm. Everybody's ult is up, uh, but since Nigang seems to have committed uh, her um, known fury, uh, she's building up some rage. She needs it. They get penetrated. So, yeah, it, it looks like it's happy death times. Happy death. For, uh, Sigdus. Yes. Yep, happy death right Indeed. Now. And it no, fell down. And there With you go. The Lord, Everyone's here. here we, go. we have a party That's... in the base of Cygnus right now, and the Lord is it's hitting the base. 65. Time journey being popped, ladies and gentlemen. They are not looking at the throne. The throne is gonna go down. Damage. Is oh, everywhere. there you go. It is 1 0 score so far in favor of Evos. Wow. Oh. That was a dominating was match. 11 minutes. Under 12 minutes. We still, our our yeah. fastest is still 9 minutes and 12.